Hello, my name is Andrew Spiker. I am an STSM working for IBM on SOA runtime architecture. And for folks that don't know me, I am on Blogger and I contribute to a multi-author blog called the WebSphere Community Blog. Uh, hopefully you're finding this video from that blog. If not, if you go to websphereCommunity.blogspot.com, you can find out about what is happening in the WebSphere application server and specifically what I'm going to talk to you about today, a new beta of a feature pack for XML programming models. What is an XML programming model, you may ask? I usually like to answer that with showing a couple comparisons with things that folks are familiar with. Um, to me, an XML programming model is all about being um, XML centric and being native to the XML data uh, that is common in WebSphere application server applications. Um, for an example, I could show you a typical um, previous technology around XML programming models, and that would be XPath. So for folks that know XPath, um, uh, we'll ex for folks that don't, we'll explain a little bit later, um, but for folks that do know, you can see a very simple XPath here where I'm taking an Atom feed, I'm looking at all the entries and looking for a certain substring, and of all those that has that substring, I'm returning the ID and the title of that Atom entry from the Atom feed. A similar way of approaching that in sort of a more object-oriented approach would be programming that with DOM. So DOM stands for Document Object Model. And you can see I'm doing something very similar in a more imperative non-XML programming model um, where I would go and navigate the DOM. I would look for the same things. I'd be looking for the feed. I would be looking for all the children of that that are elements. And I would be looking for the entries. And of all those entries, I would be looking for the ID, and then I would be looking for the value of that ID to have that substring. And then I would be returning the ID and the title. As you can see, uh, the difference here is this DOM example is an imperative Java-oriented approach to looking for that data. And you can see I tell the Java runtime exactly how to get that data how to do what I'm looking to do with the XML data. Whereas with the XPath example, I tell the runtime, the XML runtime, the XML programming model, that this is the data that I'm interested in. It's much more of a declarative approach. And you can see, obviously, it's XML oriented. Um, it knows about the concepts of XML. Um, but the really important difference is that I'm just telling the runtime, the XML runtime in this case, what to do as, a pro, as opposed to programming Java code that actually tells the Java runtime how to interpret XML data. So what are we going to talk about in the XML feature pack? Specifically, we're going to talk about the new W3C standards of XPath2, XSLT2, and XQuery 1.0. Here's actually the press release from the W3C making these standards recommendations for the industry to adopt. And with the feature pack, which you now can download from the open beta website, you can download an IBM imp implementation of these standards that runs within the application server. You can go ahead to the download link and you can download either a web install or a local install um, and follow the directions in the getting started guide which is available in the documentation section for how to use those inst installation images. Once you have downloaded and installed the feature pack there will be a step that you can conditionally launch at the end of the installation or you can run the standard profile management tool yourself, and you'll see it here. And you can augment an existing profile. What that means is um, the XML feature pack will get installed, but it won't change any of the configuration of your existing applications unless if you want it to. So what we'll do here is we'll create a new profile. Create a new profile, and you will 
select the XML feature pack. So you can see that you can augment um, or create uh, any new set of profiles with the XML feature pack functionality. And that will selectively enable uh, the feature pack to work with that set of servers that are grouped under that profile. And that means that you can experiment with, experiment with the feature pack beta, um, but not change any of your existing applications.